what if we were just method actors, right? What if that's all it is? We're just a method actor playing out a role. Some of us have been far undercover. We went deep undercover and some never got out, okay? So we're just method actors playing out roles. When we own our significance, when we own our personal power, our divinity, when that energy is owned within you, you know that you are something greater than the experience that you're experiencing, right? There's something going on. But there's an emotional pull back and forth, back and forth um, of who we are based off of what is in our surroundings and what experiences we're experiencing. So... If we are just method actors within the spiritual realms, which is what I believe we are, uh, we're method actors. So we're playing out these roles. Stop focusing on the attachment, or that's really all it is. The focus and the attachment is the uh, gripping hold of the system, an identification, that we, a storyline that we have held on to. And in holding on to that storyline, we're creating a distortion within love. And what's happening is because of this whole thing just took place, it's getting easier and easier for people to see what love actually is. Love is a vibration. Love is an action. Love is having integrity within self so that we can show up for others. So in that, in that realization, owning that simple truth, okay? Owning that simple truth. And feeling like we're not playing out the roles or that those that we were engaging with aren't what they seemed, right? So we're all going through this great awakening and in that great awakening, in that great awakening, people are grabbing hold and identifying themselves or trying to re-identify themselves with who they were versus grabbing a hold of that source light energy within themselves and moving forward with it. So what actually is happening is people are trying to recreate the matrix and in, and in their emotional and psychological um, programs uh, that they've run for so fucking long that people, uh, the system itself has the opportunity to recreate itself based off of the ignorance uh, and the, the uh, addiction, it's an addiction. It's an addiction to emotional pain. In the addiction to the emotional pain, they, uh, they keep chasing it and chasing it and chasing it. Um, so that, right, we are method, method actors within God's play. Why can't we accept that? Right? You're a method actor within the play of God. And if you are following the vibration that is leading your path, if you're following the God, divinity, the source creation, love vibration, then all of a sudden things and layers will start to shift and your perception of those layers will shift. And you may or may not identify any, for, any longer or any further with things that you had once identified with because it was part of your role, it was part of your mission, something you may or may not even have known you were participating in. There might have been a deep part of you within the deep psyche that actually kind of thought you were like playing a video game in your mind, but in fact you were playing some sort of spiritual role that you had no idea you were participating in. Method actors. As we awaken to our sore selves, As we awaken, allow, accept, follow the pulse of love and you know, release the layers of distortion to which you were following. Again, some of us went real deep undercover. Some people got lost on it. I have beings and friends that I can see on this mission that ain't ever showing up. They went in, they went in, and they thought they could handle it. Guess what? They couldn't handle it. They couldn't handle it, right? Um, 
Many will come, but the chosen are few. That's the phrase. That's the phrase. So, the method actors. Now we're on the ground, right? Mission is on. We move forward. When you accept and allow that you are playing out a role for the creator. Surrender to it. You may or may not know all the puzzle pieces, right? Uh, there will be information given to you along the way in, in, in puzzle pieces connected and deeper truths unfolded. Um, don't allow that to stop you from moving forward. Don't allow those puzzle pieces to be that which stops you from moving forward. If you do not move forward, you will drown, you will burn, you will get lost along the way. You must become unattached to those storylines and identifications that are not part of your soul. They're not part of that pulse, the essence of being that you are. So, consider the fact you're a method actor. You are one of God's method actors. Who, to the source of your being, do you feel like, right? What does your essence speak of, right? And start to live that. What is it within you that when you go and experience these other experiences, you know it's fucking fake. You know that it's not fulfilling you. You're doing these things that you're like, ah, that doesn't work for me. Don't keep doing those things. <laughs> what if you were just playing a role? What if you were just playing a role? God has a mastermind. God is a mastermind. And unfortunately, the majority of the humans will not understand what actually unfolded, but there are those that are waking up that will, and they'll see God's master plan, and they'll see that it was fucking radical, and they will see, and they will rise. It's radical. All right. I love you. Just accept the fact that you're a method actor and follow the pulse of your essence, right? If you're experiencing an experience that makes you feel weak or drained or obligated, if you feel obligated in any fucking experience, you're in the wrong essence. You're not in your essence. You're not playing, you're, you're playing the actor. You're acting a game. Um, when that, that's just an act. Simply put, it's an act. Yeah. Your essence will tell you. It'll feel drained. Um, so live from there. And there are simple telltales. And if you're not paying attention to those simple telltales, there are ways in which you can gain access to them. However, you better have started. So, enjoy. Let go of the method actor. Be our, our raw, raw selves, right? That's who we're here to be. I love you.